Queens. All of them. <laughs> Every single one. These are how female characters should be. Welcome back to our channel, guys. And if you're new here, welcome for the first time. I'm Kat. And I'm Sunny. And this is our Two Cents. So last episode, we got the matchup that we weren't quite expecting, but we enjoyed hella a lot, because oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. Bekamaru versus Panda versus Gorilla Panda was like, whoa. So now the bar has been set to like here with what we can expect with these fight scenes, and we know that there are other fights coming up, so it's gonna be ridiculous, like probably this match with, I guess, Momo and Nobara? Cause since we kind of left them half battle and then I guess also Maki and Miwa. So yeah, those two are probably coming up soon. It's probably gonna be ridiculously crazy and amazing and spectacular and just, ah, we're ready for it. One thing I am hoping that we'll find out this episode is where is Mai? Oh, like is she gonna go join Momo and Nobara? Is she like waiting for Maki? Will she be in both, all of the above? I don't know. Is she the mole? She the mole? Maybe she's not even here anymore? But then also, in addition to all the great animation and everything, I'm kind of hoping we get more like feels and backstory for all of these characters since we got that with Mekamaru and Panda. I want some backstory from all of these characters. Like, yes, tell me what they're about. Tell me. Also, I just remembered the last thing we saw was Miwa saying that like Maki's really strong, right? I guess because she doesn't have cursed energy, I feel like she made up for it with her physical strength. So I'm just excited to see her just like brute force attack. Brute force <laughs> attack? Oh. I'm sure she's not as strong as Toto, but I feel like she could be up there. Oh. So we don't know whose matchup we're gonna see first, but we're excited. So let's just get on into it. And as always, if you guys want this to be in high quality, or if you want to check out our excited episode reactions, click the I for our Patreon or the link in the description. Let's go! Oh, cause she... she's faced off. Oh. <gasps> Damn, she underestimated her. Ooh. Oh! Wow. Oh yeah, she's already at disadvantage. Oh! Oh, she's gonna fall. Oh, she's got good depth perception. Damn! Oh, she's... Oh my gosh, Oh, that was nice. Oh, wow. that was nice. What the heck? Oh, she's gonna retreat. Oh, simple domain. Oh, she knows what it is. Ooh. <laughs> like, I see what you're doing. <gasps> she just oh, breaks it. Shit. Oh, just throws it. And then now she can't do her. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> her face! Oh, oh, she's done with it. And then, nope. Dude, just fling her over. Nope. Done. I love all this back and forth we're getting. <laughs> wow. So oh, that's not fair. That. What is this club? Is it watching them? Is that how the, the teachers are watching them? Oh. oh who is this? this? That's the oh, white hair you were yeah. thinking about. Oh. Oh, but somebody doesn't want to? Uh, she's the one that's in charge of Heather's scene. Is that true? <laughs> oh, so he bought her services? Mm. The curses? Oh, that's what they are! They're keeping track of curses, okay. Oh my god, Ichichi! You poor thing! Oh, so it tells them how they're destroyed, too. Oh. oh, so the other one was blue. Mm -hmm. I love how chill she is, just like drinking her tea. Oh, oh. he's lucky. Oh. <laughs> oh, too late. <gasps> she. She's not even there. Oh. 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 <gasps> oh. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. <laughs> She's just circling her, like telling her. Oh, <laughs> damn! She's like, yeah. So what? Oh, is oh? Did he do something to them already to like protect them? Oh, uh, she's focusing on doing this just in case. <laughs> just the threat of him potentially is throwing her off. Damn. Oh, it's ticking her off, though. Uh -huh. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh! oh shit. 
Oh, her, yeah. Oh, wait, no, this is... Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're like grenades. <gasps> Damn. That was all on purpose. Uh oh, I'm putting it out the way. <gasps> oh, she oh, so she can use her other technique, right? Oh, nice landing. No, I reached you. I got Ooh, you. There she goes, yeah. It's plenty. <laughs> care about men this, women that. Oh, being strong. Ooh, yeah, you tell her. Damn! Yeah. Oh, and it takes it away. It takes her power away. Oh, oh, oh just like blunt force. So. Oh! oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> She's just holding it. Oh my god! That sound? <laughs> but it's a good blow. One more time. Oh, one more. Oh, she got shot! Oh, shoot! Whoa! That angle, though. I'm so far Whoa. away. That would still hurt, though! Oh, oh they're kind of sweet mm -hmm. together. Oh! She is. Two on one. <laughs> of course. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, I wonder that was inside. <laughs> oh, what? The way she walks. Not have to. Oh, at least yeah. not harass her as much. <laughs> so we have to win. Fight like you're going to die again. Eek! He got caught. So I wonder if the same thing would With be for sword. for my if she like does if well. she does well she'll also get that's Miwa's sword though yeah, right <laughs> Still, she's done. she just took it oh agility what and strength <laughs> I like how they differentiate them that's cute oh oh she sees him <gasps> that thing yeah that was an opening. Oh, that's pretty freaky. Aww. Is that oh, I guess. I'll come back someday. Take your spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, but he kind of doesn't. He doesn't say no. He's like, I'm gonna put you through hell so you can do it. Uh, challenge. And Mai as well. Oh, oh he does it because Ooh. she left. Is that why Mai is getting it too? I don't know. Maybe. Oh. Ooh. Who is she calling a liar? Who's gonna be the first to get hit? Oh shoot! She's getting close! Oh, there she goes! Oh, she, oh, she counted! She another one? Oh, she used her... her... Her cursed energy, right? I like she can so. do that. <gasps> oh my god! Get out the way. Construction. Oh. Create matter from mm. nothing. Yeah, so she made another one. I'm breaking the laws of physics over here. Okay. Mm. Oh, she's kind of. That's kind of clever. No. <gasps> oh, she got oh, it. Just what? Is that? what? Like no. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I shouldn't, Good to know. I shouldn't touch that with my hands. Hmm. Oh, she's gonna go with that. Oh, she's getting desperate. Uh. Oh. That's why she's so strong? Because it's not what they're looking for. Oh. She had to. Too. Oh, so it was forced onto her. Wow, for as much as like a hard exterior she has. Oh, she's got her own dreams, her own aspirations. Mm, yeah. Damn. Damn. It's like, no, I'm sorry, I couldn't. Aww. Even for you. Oh, yeah. That's why she called her a liar, right? Uh huh. Oh, damn! Oh, they're oh, both retired. Yeah. <gasps> um, Mew is not, though. No. That's interesting. I was not expecting that much. 
I know I asked for a backstory, but I wasn't expecting it to be like that heavy. But okay. So when they first introduced Mai and Maki, I wasn't expecting this type of backstory. Like I was thinking it was gonna be more of like there's like this rivalry or they're like competing against each other constantly and like one is just superior to the other, not like one is just striving so hard to accomplish her goals and the other one is just getting dragged along the dirt because of it. That was not what I was expecting. But I like it because it adds so much more to their characters and their personalities. Like it, it explains so much now. Mai is obviously just portraying this hard exterior because she feels like she has to and it's not really in her personality, but she feels like she has to like accommodate for not being good enough. Damn, that's ugh. The only reason they have these expectations is because they're in this like noble family mm -hmm. that's expecting it from them. Mm -hmm. Like if they were just, had they been born to another family, she could have been whatever she wanted to be. Exactly, exactly, yeah. And like, kind of like how Momo was saying that like perfection is expected of girls and everything. It's like that's what was expected of the twins. Uh -huh. Obviously even more than perfection. More than perfection, yeah. I did like Nobara's response to that though, like so like is that supposed to give you an excuse to do whatever you want you're expecting me to care about where she's coming from but have you thought about where my friends are coming from mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm strong i like me being strong i like me being pretty so i'm gonna be doing me basically mm -hmm. it's like who cares about these ex expectations that this society has thrown on to women in general mm -hmm. it's like ah yes <laughs> These are how female characters should be. <laughs> In like <shonen>. females. <laughs> like right? real girls. Right? Right? Like they all showed a variety of how real girls could be. Mm -hmm. And not useless. <laughs> not just fan service. Mm -hmm. But like actually having like separate identities and separate ideas and like like having that like face against each other mm -hmm. to like bring out different conflicts. Oh, this episode was just so great. So Amazing! I kind of like how this thing about Maki that her family sees as like what causes her to be a failure of her not having cursed energy is what like Mai sees as her having like a blessing. Oh yeah, uh -huh. yeah. She's like, you don't have to see them, you can just go charge forward blindly. That and like she, because she doesn't have cursed energy, she has like superhuman strength. Yeah, and then that. Like, that's actually the cause of her superhuman strength. Mm -hmm. I thought that was cool. Mm -hmm. like, oh. Yeah, I thought she just chained really hard for it, but yeah, like, oh, if you're no. born with it. Like, that's something that was give, to given to her, whatever. Mm. It's like, damn, no wonder she's so strong. Yeah. Maybe she could take on Total. I kind of want to see that now. I also like how Maki to Mai is kind of like, she feels a little sorry to her, but it's like, I'm going to be what I want to be. Like, mm -hmm. I'm sorry this is happening to you, but... She couldn't live with herself if she stayed down there. Exactly. It's like taking herself into consideration first and foremost. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I'm sorry I couldn't take care of you, but it is what it is. Like, you're gonna have to take care of yourself too. So I would like to see Mai come up from this. Right? Kind of in the sense of like, Maki's still holding out her hand, but she has to reach for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe just like actually try and, you know, surpass her the expectations that are given to her. But maybe not. Maybe the way she like overcomes this is by just stepping away from yeah. it. Like being like, okay, no, this is definitely not what's for me. I need to take my personal feelings into consideration and just step away from this. Just walk away. It could be. She'll just be happy on the bottom and Maki will keep mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like just like leave the... The Zenin clan, I guess, kind of like Maki did. So Mai didn't, right? Mai didn't. Mai is still part of it, yeah. It depends on how they want to write her character. Like, is she, does she... What her route of surpassing this would mm. be. Could go either way. Could go either way. Depends what she... What the writer decides, you know, is best for her character or as whatever. As long as she comes out stronger and mm -hmm. more confident in herself. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I don't know which way I would prefer, though. I'd like to see her being badass, but if that's not what she wants. <laughs> I mean, obviously, there's a lot of female badassery going on right now. Mm. So now we have, like, the, the teacher, too. This other May. female teacher. So this May person, she's not a teacher, right? She's just a random sorcerer that the Kyoto principal hired, I guess? Yeah, I guess they brought her in for her technique. Right. Her hairstyle with the big braid in front reminds me of Nozo. Mm-hmm. 
but just more. She has really thick hair. Anyway, she's cool looking. This is probably just like my sociology slash psychology mind going, but I feel like the scene with Nova and Momo would be really great to show like young girls. Mm. Just the, the different types of like, like you said, mentality that girls can have is like portrayed so well here and how they're clashing and everything. It's like, you can have different opinions mm -hmm. and still be valued for your opinions and stuff. It's just like, ah. And even seeing them being like all cool on the battlefield and then like in their flashbacks or in the strolls, seeing them just having fun like girls would, just mm -hmm. chatting normally, not about guys or something, mm -hmm. but just mm -hmm. like about midnight snacks and that's gonna make your face bloat. And just like teasing each other. It's refreshing. It is refreshing to not have two female characters having to talk about a guy. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, believe it or not, that's not how females work. Right. That's not how women work. I don't want to go on a rant though, so that's why I'm trying to stop oh myself. My what happened to you? I she was stuck on a rant. <laughs> I was gonna say this is the universe telling me not to go on. Oh. A rant. Or maybe we should, because we're we're too we're we're women. <laughs> I don't know if you we knew this. Are women, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if you knew this, but we are women. Um, surprise! Women like anime. Women like realistic portrayals of women in anime. Nah. None of them have really been like fan service, right? So far? I had read something where Akutami, I think his name is, the creator, uh -huh. who was like, I want. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. He had said something like, I want to draw like fa more fan service girls, but he hesitates because then his parents will see them. <gasps> <laughs> yes! I'm sorry. That's like perfect. Yes. Right. It's like, they'll know I did that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So oh. they end up just being real. <laughs> My respect for him just went like through the roof or something. Right. Like, yes, thank you for not just being like, oh, boobs and butt. Even though technically he has still been, but it's not been like towards the characters that we like are meant to relate to as an audience. Because he like brings up, like you said, with like Itadori oh, and Toto, uh -huh. he still brings it up. Yeah. Because you know they're guys, they're they're teenage guys, mm -hmm. and that's what they think about. But the fact that the the female characters aren't like that or aren't for that, like, and it's great. not like throwing it in your face, they're just talking about it. Exactly, yeah. So right now, or after this episode, Nobara and Mai are out, right? They're retired. Uh-huh. So Miwa's still out there, Momo's still out there. But I wonder, like, how is it that they confirmed Mai retired? Like, did she just give up? Potentially. Because, like, Mekamaru couldn't really move anymore, and Nobara is unconscious, right? Mm hmm She used her one, you know, uh, creation, mm -hmm. sorcery, whatever, technique. So maybe that knocks her out. Maybe she, she can't, can't use fight it again. Anymore. Yeah, she's just exhausted beyond repair. Basically, mm. so. basically like Mechamari, right? Uh huh. So now Tokyo has one more. Uh -huh. So Toge is still going through something, and I guess Panda is going after curses now mm -hmm. instead of how we thought he was gonna go help somebody. Uh -huh. So maybe, maybe Maki will do the same. Unless Miwa comes back for revenge or something. Maybe. I don't think so. I couldn't see her. I don't know why I don't see her doing that. I don't know how Miwa can still fight, though. She's not a sword. I mean, I'm sure she has other things, but I just don't know what happened to her. Yeah, I guess hopefully we'll find that out next episode. Uh -huh. I'm sure she has like different techniques as aside from like her simple domain or mm -hmm. her, her sword or whatever. So Yeah, I think she still at least has a will to fight because she wants to show off and get that promotion. Yeah, and she doesn't have like resentment towards anybody unless she suddenly now has resentment towards Maki. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, I think she would just be like, okay, we'll focus on the mission, get help us win, basically. And so now it's just Megumi and Kamo's fight left and then still Itadori and Toto. Yeah, they're still raging on. Oh, no, yeah. We didn't see them. I thought we would see them. I know, I thought we would get like a little... I mean, we saw them, but they weren't fighting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but I thought we'd get like a little like, oh, this is what's going on now or whatever. Mm -hmm. This Some is how much destruction are, yeah. they've done or whatever. But the no. trees are all... Yeah, yeah. This giant field suddenly. Mm. But no, okay. So overall, we really enjoyed this episode. We got a lot of character development and really good backstory for the characters. And awesome animation. I mean, hands down, spectacular. So now we just gotta see how the fight between Kamo and Megumi goes in the next episode.
None of this would be possible without all of your support, and we just want to give a special thanks to Brandon Scott, Deck Demon 913, Luis A. Sandoval, Aubrey, Pepperoni Pony, Phoenix Yang, Jargo, Takashi, Jacob, Conroy, Jim Fungbrandt, Nato, Brian Amico Njoku, Anna Chelli, DJ Cunning, Kazu, Hilarix, Albain Garan, Lord, and Sasaki Sho. It's thanks to the support of all these wonderful people and all of our patrons on our Patreon that we can keep making videos like this one. Thank you guys so much. You guys yes. are awesome. If you like what you're seeing, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more, you can check out our past videos. Don't forget, you can follow us on our socials, linked in the description. Thanks for watching. Please stay safe, everyone. And we hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.